That's a gen, yeah. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Freedom of speech. <laughs> we know freedom of speech is used nowadays to beat us over the head whenever our religion is offended, whenever the prophet is ridiculed, we're just given the pacifier of freedom of speech and told to shut up and just bear it. Otherwise we're against Western values. But when we look at numerous aspects of society. Here you had the baby, who was a very famous artist. He made a homophobic comment. He was not able to say it's freedom of speech. He was forced to apologize numerous times. His concerts were canceled. And then Emmanuel Macron, the one who says you can criticize Islam, you can criticize, you know, do whatever you want. It's freedom of speech, mate. He took legal action over Hitler poster comparison. He didn't accept that that person had freedom of speech. Here you can see Preeti Patel. Yeah, there was a cartoon. <laughs> there you go, the cartoons that was depicting her as a cow. And people said, no, it's offensive because she's a Hindu. They took a picture of the Queen down in the University of Oxford. There was a nationwide condemnation of that. Prince Philip's cartoon. There was condemnation of that also. Teachers have been sacked in numerous institutions because they have offended the Jewish community. Here you could see an entire country's fans that have gone to see a match have had sanctions put on them because of anti-LGBT, anti-gay rhetoric. Here was another artist, Wiley, who was in trouble because he hurt the sentiments of the Jewish community. And we know even in the UK, yeah, you've got something called Prevent, which is put forward by the government to uh, supposedly weed out extremism. Uh, in their guidelines, calling for the death of armed forces is regarded as extremism. Yeah, you can't give your freedom of speech when it comes to that. You can't speak against democracy or rule of law. Apparently, freedom of speech doesn't count there. Pulling down a statue can land you uh, 10 years in prison whilst uh, raping somebody, uh, you know, about five years. And even if you look at the legislation, the Human Rights Act 1998 itself puts conditions and restrictions on freedom of speech. You look at the Public Order Act of 1986 section 4 insulting someone is one of them causing someone alarm and distress being abusive yeah being threatening and even if you look at the communications act 2003 section 127 again the word offensive pops up it can't be offensive or show obscene character or, or menacing character now why am i mentioning all this because that's pretty much how the western world thinks and a lot of leaders have kowtowed to that and follow the same train of thought. But Vladimir Putin, it was something that he said at the annual press conference at Moscow. Yeah, this was actually two days ago. It was on the 23rd of December 2021 in uh, Moscow, Russia. And more than 500 journalists were invited to that. And he said, If there is an insult against Prophet Muhammad, do you think this is about exercising your freedom of creativity? I don't think so. I think it's an infringement of the freedom of religion. This is also an insult to the sacred feelings of people who profess Islam. So this was actually very amazing to see because we don't get leaders like this, especially non-Muslim leaders, that because it's just common sense. It's common sense. You have curtailed freedom of speech when it comes to other aspects. You can't burn a flag, you know, in, in, in the US. You know, you can't disrespect the flag in France. You know, there's, there's so many things in which your freedom of, of action, your freedom of speech is curtailed. But when it comes to the profit, it's like it, it, such disrespect. Yeah, and any average person can see that, you know what, there is a certain level of hypocrisy being done against the Muslim community. And what's brilliant is there are orthodox, you know, Russia is known for having orthodox Christians. And this, I think, is very good for building bridges between Muslims and Christians because orthodox Christians and orthodox Muslims are, of course, uh, close in terms of their beliefs, as we're told in the Quran as well. Also, Vladimir Putin has also spoken against 
LGBT. Теле новых подходов заходят так далеко, что хотят отменить сами эти понятия. Та, э, те же, кто рискует сказать, что мужчины и женщины все-таки есть, и это биологический факт, подвергает чуть ли не астракизму. And their very wishy-washy guidelines on switching genders and that sort of stuff, which is causing major issues. Yeah, where you've got men just going to women's changing rooms. I identify as a woman, mate. Yeah, you've got older people identifying as young people. It's just an absolute mess. Yeah, and the fact that Vladimir Putin has even sp spoken out against that. I know some people are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. What about what Putin's done in Syria? Look, what Putin's done in Syria is absolutely unacceptable. Yeah, killing Muslims indiscriminately and doing that, that's an issue that I'm sorry, you know, that's wrong. It's wrong. Just because you do one thing right doesn't mean that the other thing is right also. But just because you've done one thing wrong doesn't mean the other thing is wrong also. Yeah, so I can praise the thing that he's done that's right and I can criticize the thing that he's done that's wrong. So yeah, mashallah, that was really nice to see. And inshallah, you guys have learned something about freedom of speech because let's face it, it's only a matter of time till it keeps getting brought up again and again. But we should learn this stuff that I said towards the start of the video because it will put us in a stronger position. Until next time, <laughs> Assalamu Alaikum.